Good morning, classy people. Sunday morning here in the studio having a cup of coffee. If you're watching this video, as always, remember to turn your closed captured on. That's your CC. You can see our narrative as we're speaking and the horses that we're talking about. And of course, always down in the description, you will see our email. If you need to get a hold of us, speedking24 at yahoo.com, as well as ways to support us by buying a Speed King of Coffee, our tip sheet, and of course, you can buy Speed King shirts. Hope everybody had a great Saturday over at the fairground. We broke just about even, cashed a couple tickets uh, on Olympiad and Silver Prospector, who ran a great race at 11 or 12 to 1. And of course, uh, Epic Center and Small Happy Ram won too. So, eh, it was a crazy day over there yesterday at fairgrounds. But we're here this morning, as I promised, uh, you know, we will put together a pick six ticket. There is a mandatory payout over there at Santa Anita today. We always look at that in a sponsorship group. For those who don't know, I have a sponsorship group down in Clearwater, Florida, who, you know, I do some handicapping for them, and they love to play pick sixes and things like that. So I put together one, or I give them the framework of one. You know, they throw a lot of money at it. I just do a studio ticket. I give them the frame and they go from there. And we did that here uh, for the carryover, going in at 667000 So it would exceed probably 2 or $3 million today. So I wanted to put together a real quick ticket. We have a strong opinion in race number nine, as you've seen from our other video. We like uh, Fluent, the number four horse in the very last race, which I'm willing to single. But there's other horses in there to play if you're playing a serious ticket. So let's dive right into this pick six. Don't want to make it long. Um, the first leg uh, is uh, race number four. Uh, we're just going to run through the numbers, and down in the description, you will see our studio ticket. And the sponsorship would take that and do whatever they do, add thousands of horses to it, you know, which I don't do. <laughs> yeah, I just don't do that. Um, so, race number four is the start of the pick six. It is a maiden special race going uh, six and a half on the grass. And again, you know, here's a really, really good race. Uh, it looks like you have to spread in here, but I make my stand. I make my opinion. I like the number seven horse, Square Cat. Looks like he's going to get to the front and uh, possibly can go gate to wire with Tyler Bayes. So we're going to use uh, three out of here. We're going to use the number seven, Square Cat. The number two, who hasn't been on the turf, but speed figures are off the chain. So we like the seven and the two a whole bunch. So we're going to use that horse and the number 10 horse. Really big news. So we're going to use seven, two, ten in the first leg, which is three horses. In the second leg, which is race number five, uh, it's a $10,000 claiming race, a field of eight. There you go, going five and a half furlongs. Well, we really do like the number seven horse here. I think this horse is borderline single, to be honest with you. Uh, Rain Diva is very, very fast. But again, these are $10,000 claimers. So you take your life into your own hands. And the number one horse uh, time for uh, in the Emmy is a very, very nice horse. Uh, time for Ebby, very, very nice horse. But I don't like the fact that the horse is coming off of a 287-day layoff. I mean, that really scares me with a $10,000 claimer, you know. So, I mean, I like the number seven a uh, whole bunch here. Um, and I guess the third horse that we will use here would be the number five horse. Um, it's a riddle, uh, you know. The horse is kind of speedy, uh, dropping from 12,000 into 10 speed figures are okay. So again, you kind of take your life into your own hands here. Uh, the number three horse, uh, I'm not sure why he's three to one on the morning line. Uh, I guess he's very speedy uh, in his own right. Um, so what are we going to use here? We're going to use uh, three horses in this race as well. We're going to use the number seven um, uh, Rain, uh, Rain Diva, and which we think is a single, by the way, and uh, the number five horse, I guess. I mean, I don't particularly like him either. It's a riddle, and the number one horse, who I kind of like hate because he's been away so long. So we're going to use three here, seven, one, five, with the opportunity to make some adjustments. In the third leg, which is race number six, it's another maiden claiming race, 62,000, going a flat mile on the grass. Well, 
Uh, you know, these races are tough, man. You know, the number seven horse to me uh, with um, Van Dyke up, who I think is actually not uh, racing. I think he's been sidelined. So we're going to use three in here. We're going to use seven, two, four, like that. Now, let me say this in the middle of, of this analysis. We're doing race six, leg number three. It's always best to find out where Flavian Pratt is in all these races, right? Because, of course, he gets all the live mounts. So I think you start your handicapping by finding out where he is. Now, I'm not just going to put him in if I don't like his horse. And in the third leg, which is race number six, he's on the six horse, who I don't like, you know, uh, that you can. I don't like the horse, so I'm not using him. But that is a, a bone of contention. You probably should find out where Flavian is, right? And I don't think he probably should be off any ticket if you're just throwing money at it. I don't play like that. If I don't like your horse, I don't care who's on him. If Pat Day could be on him, if I don't like the horse, I'm not playing him. So in the third leg, we're using three, uh, two, four, and seven. In the fourth leg, as we pick it up here, is an allowance race going seven furlongs. Uh, it is a field of ten for uh, California fillies and mares, four-year-olds and up. And here... We went pretty deep. I mean, we like the number uh, four horse a whole bunch here. Uh, Delta win. We think this horse actually is a single as well. And we like the number 10 horse a bunch in here as well. Uh, smitten by Kitten, which is Flavian Pratt. And the number one horse, uh, Much a Woman. And I guess we'll use four in here by using the seven all dialed in. So in the fourth leg, we're going to use four. 4, 10, 1, and 7 in that order. The fifth leg, which is race number 8, it is a stake race. The San uh, Simon Stakes, 6 for a long 400,000 for uh, 4 year olds and up, going 6.5 panels, a field of 8. We love the number 7 horse in this spot, even though we're using um, uh, 4 in here. So we're going to go 7, 3, 2, and 4 in the fifth leg and in the last leg is here is where we have the trouble it is a maiden special race on six furlongs going a mile no going six furlongs uh, for maiden special on the turf uh, it is a field of nine and you know again we play the way that we play right we like what we like that's what makes horse racing so appealing is that everybody gets to have their opinion and you get to back it with your hard-earned money. I mean, so I like the number four horse here. I put a video out as a spotlight, long shot play for me, uh, fluent the number four. And, you know, to me, uh, with his sire, Balboa, uh, is a horse that Richard Mandela used to train, and Richard trains this horse. The horse has decent speed figures. Uh, ran against Miss Maddie B, didn't do anything against Miss Maddie B, but came out of it with a great speed figure. And I just thought the number four, flowing at 15 to 1, with Juan Espinosa, right? He's a 10 pound bug or a 7 pound bug uh, for Richard Mandela. I thought this horse shouldn't be 15 to 1. I did fair value on him in my database and he came up at 6 or 7 to 1. So I was willing to single this horse at 15 to 1 in the last race. Now, uh, is there other horses in here you can use? Sure. The number five, um, Snark, uh, with uh, Jessica Pfeiffer up. You know, I hate to leave her off the ticket, but I love the four horse so much. But the number five, Snark, has every right. Very, very speedy horse. Probably will get to the top. And, of course, the number seven, Ruby Roy, who's two to one on the morning line uh, for Doug O'Neill. But... To me, I'm going to just use the number four here. I told this to the sponsorship group. Uh, they could use the five and the seven, but I'm just willing in the studio to play uh, just the four horse, and I'm going to bet this horse to win. I really like the number four at 15 to one. I think it's great value. I don't have to bet a bunch of money straight up to make any money if he stays 15 to one. So there's your pick six, or at least there's the framework for it.
please add to the ticket, subtract to the ticket, put your handicap in together. That's what I do for the uh, sponsorship group. I kind of give them the foundation or the framework of what I see, and then they add and subtract. You know, they throw thousands of dollars at these things, and I put together a decent studio ticket in terms of handicap. And then, and again, in the ninth race, I really like the four. So, what do we know? We're going to use three in the first leg, by three in the second leg, by three in the third leg, by four in the fourth leg, by four in the fourth leg, by one in the last leg, fluent, the number uh, four horse. And our ticket's going to cost $86.40 here in the studio, okay? So we're going to use uh, three by three by three by four by four by one. We really like fluent. Of course, there's more horses you can surely to use in the last leg, but I'm just willing to stand with the horse that I really, really like a bunch in here. And you know what? It's an $86 ticket. There you go. There's your framework. You know, add to it, subtract uh, from it, disregard it altogether. Use your handicap and uh, always pay attention to the scratches before these races start. And, uh, you know, if you put your ticket in early, that way you can make adjustments. But I just put together a framework. It's 86 bucks and 40 cents. There it is. Three by three by three by four by four. And we love the number four horse fluent in the last race. And we're willing to stand with it. But, of course, in the last race, there's many horses you could use in there. The five and seven would be my other two picks that I would use if I had to go long. And I'm sure the sponsorship group will do that as they always do. So there it is, folks. Stay classy. Remember, we love number fluent, number four in the last leg. Our ticket is 86 bucks. Add, subtract, multiply, throw it all out, put your handicap and prevalence to it. As always, email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com. Stay classy in everything you do. And down in the description, please see our disclaimer. Our ticket costs $86.40. Maybe we'll get lucky. It only takes one time. Stay classy, y'all. I wish everybody a bunch of luck.